Hello, and welcome to the Bankers Masterclass series in association with CaixaBank on the new rules of digital banking. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy Editor of The Banker. In Chapter 2 of this five-part series, I'm joined by Christina Lazaro, Head of CaixaBank Business Intelligence, to talk about combining the digital and physical worlds for a superb customer experience that is built on deep business intelligence. Christina, thanks so much for joining us today. So I know in 2018 that Kasha Bank launched its InTouch uh, model. Can you tell me a little bit more about that and sort of what was driving it forward? Oh, thank you, Joy. I would say that InTouch is a new omni-channel relationship model uh, based on a remote assistance that perfectly fits with the new customer omni-channel needs. Actually, the customer, the retail banking customer, is a customer that uh, is increasingly adopting this kind of new tool, the web-based tools or, or chat-based uh, tools and remote advisory tools, but still they need the personal touch. According to the last McKinsey multi-channel survey, uh, at least in Spain, 50, more than 50% of the banking customers are saying that they really need still the human touch for their financial and personal ad advice. No? And then that's why in InTouch, uh, we, the core of value proposition is the relationship manager. No, the, it's not a technological product, it's, a, it's really the, the relationship manager and to combine the relationship manager trust, uh, trust, proximity and confidence with all the technological capabilities that Kaisa Bank is giving you in all the, to interact with us in, in the other channels. Then we really mm, try to mix uh, uh, two roles. Uh, we try to be with these customers as digital as we can, and learning and promoting and teaching uh, with them uh, to interact with us in, in a digital way, but as well giving the best advice that we can. And we want to, to give this advice in an extended hours, mm -hmm. and as well with new tools, and tools that the customer could feel very comfortable. And we have uh, created this in an efficient way. We have a relationship managers with a portfolio of 2,000 customers. Mm -hmm. And we have protocol everything. We have a very systematic way to do the contacts. And overall, the, the customer is, is very happy. And how important is advanced data analytics to this multi or omni-channel uh, proposal? Oh yes, the truth is that this project has been uh, developed and born in Kaisamang Business Intelligence because we have been used all the uh, predictive modeling and all the sophisticated algorithms and analytics that we have in the bank in two main ways. One is to select the customer that better suits with this, uh, with this service. And then we have selected two kinds of customers. Uh, one are the customers uh, that are not visiting our branches for at least more than six months. And as well, another group that were customers that we are detecting that are leaving the bank or are in some way in some attrition path to leaving the bank, mainly because they don't buy anything with us uh, in the last at least five months. Then with this selection, we have, uh, we have obtained, we have achieved uh, an average uh, acceptance of the customers that we remember we call one by one. Mm -hmm. And we have an average of 93% acceptance. Mm -hmm. And secondly, it's very important to use this uh, very, very sophisticated predictive modeling to offer the, the best uh, products and services that the customer really needs and to prioritize the customers that the relationship, the, the relationship manager needs to call every day. So how would you say that the digital marketing has really changed to reflect the fact that a lot of customers don't visit the branch anymore? Yeah, we really want to be close to the customer when they are looking for some new interests or new uh, products or services. And for that, the, we have been uh, focusing, uh, first of all, in understand very well how is this customer, how to approach this customer. And then we have more, uh, more than 20% customers that are really interacting with us only through the digital channels. And we have tried to understand with uh, very deep learning and with analytics, uh, how is this customer and mixing the, ca the, the information information that we have from the digital uh, click stream behavior and with all the behavioral uh, uh, all the behaviorals and all the business and, and all the use of channels that we have from them and then this this customer is, is quite different this customer in terms of age is 70 percent are uh, under uh, 40 40 years old and our customers that are buying online 50 percent are using uh, are using mobile wallets uh, more than 60 percent are looking at the apps to look for 
for their financials or for their uh, invoices or, or whatever. And then we have, uh, now that we have this approach, we really use these tools uh, for doing remarketing, all the multi-channel uh, journeys that we have uh, mentioned before. And as well, what is really different is uh, to use the, the marketing, programmatic advertising. And it's, what it's really changing the world in, in, in analytics uh, again, no? and in digital marketing analytics. And we have in CaixaBank uh, one of the most complete process to track the customer from the first in interaction that he is doing in, a, in, a, in any channel and the last uh, moment when the, his, this customer is, is buying a, a, a product. And then uh, this is a different money to invest the money, uh, a different way to invest the money, a different uh, way to have a very uh, good optimization of the conversion uh, funnels and we really uh, need uh, and we really understand how is this uh, okay. done for the customer. So my last question is really around the use of big data, but also predictive modeling to really make the bank more efficient uh, and again serve its customers. We have constructed the data pool, what we call the data pool in the market is more or less uh, data lake and in this data pool we have now 433 terabytes and um, with all of that you really need to change as well the way that you used to do the things in the in the traditional CRM and, and data mining areas you really need to uh, use new techniques to exploit the the big data and you really need new talent and new talented data scientists to use these techniques and to have people that uh, that use uh, that knows how to use machine learning capacities or how to program in the new languages as R or Python. And then we have, with all of that, we have uh, used all the information to really uh, have the value, the, the full value chain, and to have this model uh, applied to the real uh, marketing and action and commercial actions that we do every day. Then we have uh, this uh, predictive modeling with more, with more than 1,200 variables. In the traditional way, we have more than we didn't have more than 50, 100. And then with all of this, we really know how the how the customer is is propens to the new cast, uh, products or, or services. The results of this have been that we have multiplied by five by ten the results in sales, and that we are in, in, in the last model that we did, for example, we achieved that with 1% of the total population, we have the 30% of all sales, or with 10% of the total population, we achieve the full uh, sales production. Wow, that's impressive. So thank you so much for your insights, Christina. Thank you, thank you so much, Joey. In the next chapter of this Masterclass series, we're gonna look at how the new emerging technologies are really creating a personalized customer experience.